Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Did you know I have a Patreon? You can go over there and support the channel. Now onto the stories. Case file number 899, written by Powered Coffee. Everyone in my office are imposters? This glitch occurred recently. Well, it's still occurring, but it started happening a few days ago. I work in a large corporate office for a particular company that shall not be named. Truth is, I don't really like my job, but that's besides the point, I guess. Part of my job entails knowing everyone within my department, their needs and preferences, etc. Even though I don't really like my job, I am good at it. I never miss my shot in predicting what will be needed for who, remembering certain dietary requirements and other details. It's my job to do so, and when I started working here, I even kept spreadsheets to help ease my mind in remembering these details. I started noticing a lot of things simply wrong back on Monday, December 19th. I came into the office, prepared coffees for the upper management team, but half of them say that I got their coffees wrong. It's just not possible for me to get it wrong. I know each member of the team better than the back of my own hand at this point. I should, given that I've served them all coffee and other lunch orders for over three years. I could serve them coffee while sleepwalking and still be accurate. Do people suddenly forget core details about a job they've had for years? Why just the details about people in my office? It makes no sense and frankly, unless I relearn what I should already know, my very job is at risk. It's so damn weird. And to be more clear, it's only details about the people I work with the kind of coffee they like, their preferred lunches. Even the time at which they normally take off for the night is different. Everyone outside of work is perfectly normal, the same. My partner still loves steak, medium rare, and potatoes, black coffee, still wakes up earlier than a farmer. Am I being massively fooled in some way? To what end, if so? I can't think of anything else. Glitches aren't unknown to me, I like reading about them, but I can't think of anything that would fit here. Case file number 900, written by Hippie Girl Draws. A very sweet and meaty glitch. There are two events where I, 28 female, and my boyfriend, 31 male, could not explain for logical reasons. One day, we made hot pot for dinner, where I was sure that I put two slices of identical meat, same size and weight, into the pot, the lid was closed the whole time, but when we opened it, my boyfriend could only find one slice of meat, and we tried and didn't find it. Another time when we ordered a box of six donuts that all looked different. There should still be three left the next day, but we just don't have any memories of eating the last one, and it's just gone. We live in a tall new building on the 33rd floor. We don't have pets or large enough holes for rats to pass in. My eyes monitored the hot pot the whole time and even if there are other insects or animals, shouldn't there also be traces of the donut box being broken into? Could this be a Christmas joke? Case file number 901, written by Glitter Red. Rubies for the firecracker. A long time ago, my mother gave me a necklace for my birthday. It has a ruby fused into the middle of the pendant. My birth gem, July. I was just a teenager, I'm in my 40s now. I loved it and wore it all my life almost every day. Something about it was irreplaceable, almost like the ruby glowed with me connected to it. My mom told me that it didn't just represent my birth month but also my character. I was always a bit of a firecracker. Fast forward a few decades, I had taken my necklace off and stored it in my small little safe. Whenever I wasn't going to wear the necklace, I always kept it in there for safekeeping. I was heading out of the country with my husband for a couple weeks and didn't feel comfortable bringing it with me overseas. All was well on the trip, then we return home. First thing I do when I get back is head to the safe to retrieve the necklace, but it's not in there anymore. The safe was still locked, there was no sign whatsoever of any sort of burglary. All doors and windows were locked, the alarm was on, nothing else was taken. Of course, we're just normal people. I had no idea about the world of glitches at this time, so I just figured it must have somehow been stolen by someone we knew who had intimate knowledge of my valuables. 
Thing is, while the necklace held immense sentimental value to me, it wasn't worth all that much in terms of cash. Not something you'd stalk someone like prey over. Not something someone with the skills to break into a well-defended and alarmed home and into a safe would plot to steal. Still, that's all I could think happened, so we filed a police report. But there's nothing they could do. We had security cameras outside, but the footage picked up nothing as far as we could tell. Gave copies to the cops, but it is weeks of footage. I was truly saddened by this. I know it's morbid, but I was so connected to this necklace that I had intentions to be buried with it. I know, a very weird thing to think about, but it gave me tremendous comfort, like I would always be with my mom through it. Nothing I could do though besides pray and hope the cops somehow pull a miracle out of their donuts. Okay, here's where what happened to me is inexplicable. Woke up, husband was already awake, early but nothing crazy. I went to get some orange juice from the fridge and as I turned the corner heading into the kitchen, there's a moment in time I can best describe as split. My eyes turned with my body and in midair I saw nothing, then I saw my necklace. It didn't pop in or fade in or anything like that, it just was nothing and then my necklace is there. It makes my head hurt trying to recall the timeline. So there's a necklace now and for at least a second it's frozen. Then it drops like physics is suddenly applying to it. I hear the clunk of it hitting the kitchen tiles. I see the light shimmer off the gem. I simply can't believe what I'm seeing. I yelled for my husband, come in here quick, you won't believe what I'm seeing here. I didn't tell my husband about the part where the necklace just appeared and was frozen in the air for a second because that's insane. But it's what I remember. He's extremely focused too and had no explanation, he just said, it's your necklace? Where the hell did it come from? In the end, I'm just glad to have my so cherished necklace back. But none of this makes a lick of sense. Someone stole my necklace from a safe in a locked, alarmed home and then returned it to me by somehow defying the laws of nature? <laughs>